been more than 800 consecutive days of beach closures on the south end of Imperial Beach here. Now, Mayor Paloma Aguirre and other elected leaders, they're rattling cages, trying to get the attention of decision makers in Washington, D.C. Not seeing people being able to enjoy the water is probably the most troubling, and then the health effects as well. These yellow sewage signs might as well be cemented into place here at the IB Pier. They've already become pretty much permanent. You can even tell the difference in the water, you know? The color is all green, and then you go out a little further and it breaks. Justin Roebuck was born and raised here, and he's disappointed his son Dakota can't experience it the same he did. I've been able to come out here when I was a kid, and uh, we had really good time going in the water, and now I can't even take my next generation in the water because we just have this crazy pollution going on. A new report by SDSU researchers finds that toxic chemicals and microbes from untreated sewage that were once thought to remain isolated in the water can also linger in soils and be airborne. Once that stuff gets in the wind, especially the breeze that's blowing right now, yeah, I can see it definitely affecting people that are um, immunocompromised. Uh, my, my oldest son has asthma. So, yeah, it's a, it's a big concern. According to Imperial Beach Mayor Paloma Aguirre, the storm on January 22nd brought 14.5 billion gallons of toxic sewage across the border. I'm the one that gets the emails, right, from people who are immunocompromised or their kids. This is unsustainable. Our economy is, is very, very impacted uh, because of the beach closures. Congressman Scott Peters says Mexico is currently building new wastewater treatment infrastructure that should come online later this year. As for our side of the border, more funding is needed, hundreds of millions of dollars to make repairs and expand our international treatment plan. I would love to see our beaches saved and, and be able to see people out here enjoying it as much as we do. But, you know, getting in the water is all the fun of going to the beach, right? The South Bay International Wastewater Treatment Plant is supposed to be able to process 25 million gallons of sewage per day. But according to Congressman Peters, that capacity is much reduced right now due to lack of proper maintenance over the years and equipment failures. Marcella Carlo, back to you. Ryan, more than 800 days. It is just a longstanding problem. How much money exactly are they asking for from Congress? And then how would it be spent to really fix this problem once and for all? It'll cost $650 million to repair and expand that current treatment facility on our side of the border. Now, apparently, they already have $350 million secured in federal funding. They're seeking an additional $310 million from Congress in the near future. And uh, aside from repairing that facility, they're also looking to double its capacity to be able to handle 50 million gallons of sewage per day.